You're watching Local 4, home of ClickOnDetroit.com. WTIV Local 4 News Morning starts now. Well, chances are when you gathered around the TV last night to watch the Super Bowl, some of you were there for the game, the rest for the commercials. Or maybe both, and depending on what you tuned in for, you're either satisfied or maybe a little disappointed. Right now we're taking a look at some of the best and some of the worst commercials from last night as well. And joining us right now this morning is U of D profess Professor Mike Bernacki. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Michael, always good to see you. Let's start things off. Let's take a look at the Betty White Snickers ad. What is your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, Eat a Snickers. Better? Better. Hey, I'm up in. That hurt. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Y yes, Abe Vigoda is still with us. <laughs> it was a memorable spot. It was. It was. It won uh, the ad meter. And you know, uh, among the components here that are very memorable is that uh, violence occurs. I mean, violence incre increasingly to get belly laughs occurs. And yeah. you know, there we saw, of course, two violent tackles, you know, two uh, elderly folks that we all know, White and the Bogota, you know, funny. There's no doubt about it. But you know, the belly laughs and it won because it gets that kind of a reaction, yeah. you know, so that's the way that it, and by the way, we saw this before, Anheuser-Busch did this with Bud Light a few years They're ago. They're kind of it's recycling well ideas. Yeah. Let's take a look at uh, Doritos Boy. This is another cute one. Hi. Oh, thank you. Have a seat. Kyle, Jalen, Jalen, Kyle. Jalen, you play nice. I'll be right back. What's going on, little man? I see you got your game skills down, Pack. You might have your hands full once I'll pick up the control a little bit. Put it back. Keep your hands on my mama. Keep your hands on my Doritos. Jalen, are you playing no. nice? That ad, there was a lot of controversy behind that far before the Super Bowl. Some people thought it was a little bit stereotypical. Well, you know, uh, I think it was stereotypical. Uh, you know, for a long time it was that minorities weren't even in these ads. Mm -hmm. And so then you, you bring them through, and how do you bring them through? I don't think there's any question about it that there was stereotypical portrayal here. Having said that, notice the violence again. The kid, right. you know, slapped the guy. And yeah. of course, the interaction, though, the nose to nose, that really what won, you know, won this, uh, the hearts and minds for those who voted for this. And you know, all in all, it fared uh, pretty well. So I think there's something to be said. Forget the special effects. Yeah. You know, just go to that face-to-face, -face, nasal passage and nasal <laughs> passage contact, and communication occurred. Boy, it sure occurred with those two folks. But mm -hmm. cute kids always sell well. Yeah, that's uh, part of the Super Bowl liturgy. Yeah, want to see what you think about uh, Audi taking a, a bit of a chance with this green police ad. Take a look at this. Okay, so it's 3708, okay. uh, paper plastic. Plastic. That's the magic word. What? Green police. <laughs> You picked the wrong day to mess with the ecosystem, Plastic Boy. All those things that, uh, you know, it kind of hits us. Those that are sensitive to the folks that uh, are being a little too politically correct would go, boy, this is just kind of annoying. But Audi making a very good statement about its TDI diesel engine being the cleanest around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's uh, an overstatement on uh, green mo mobiles, but the message is conveyed. And guess what? Never is it a top tenor in the ad meter. Mm. Ad meter. It was number six, I believe. So the message was conveyed. And with Super Bowl advertising, you have to convey the message. There's no other way to do it. And they right. got the job done on message conveyance. Now, this is one that I think uh, unanimously got thumbs down from our crew and see what uh, <laughs> Professor Mike thinks about it. The Dockers ad. I wear no pants. I wear no pants. I wear, I wear, wear no, I wear, wear no, wear no pants. Wear no pants. Right. But I like a tramp. You saw spin up and left, for I wear no pants. I think there's a, that was a, a bit of a theme with that last night. I saw several commercials with men with the, no pants. The casual Fridays thing yeah, for Career yeah. Builder was another yeah. one. I guess KGB that was a theme. KGB and Career Builder both had guys with their pants on. I do, I do have a message for these ads. 
Keep your pants on, please. Uh, I, I think we can succeed with Super Bowl ad. By oh, the way, my. you know, we have our affair down at uh, UDM today right. where we have over 200 high school students coming in to celebrate a national high school poll on these ads themselves. Right. So we can't wait to see the kids and see the ads. Thanks. And I, one thing we should pass along, that you, a very good point you made, that New Orleans may have been the biggest winner, and it didn't even run an ad in There's the Super no Bowl. There's no doubt about it. The best brand of the night was New Orleans. You know, of course, now they're in the Mardi Gras season, mm -hmm. so go New Orleans. And the Saints did very well, too. Their yeah. value yeah. will be enhanced. Your Bears will be back next year, Mike, I promise. That brings <laughs> us to our, our local forum.